So on today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install an EGT gauge on a PX Ford Ranger. Essentially a couple of things that you'll need for this and probably the main thing is this fuse sort of interceptor thing. You plug that in, I'll show you where it goes later on, but yeah, it's, this saves sort of a lot of time stuffing around trying to find a 12 volt where you can just give that the fuse box and you can buy these on eBay. Um, I've got just an El Cheapo EGT gauge. I think I paid about 50 bucks for it uh, on eBay as well. So that came with all the wiring and your sensor which goes into your dump pipe, which I'll show you where that goes. So I've got an aftermarket dump pipe, so it's already got a bung for this. Otherwise you would probably have to do it some other way, possibly drill a hole, but I won't have to do that with mine because I've already got the provision there on the dump pipe for it. And one last thing that I have is also this gauge cup, which I purchased off eBay as well for like $10. Um, it's just a cheap one, but it'll do the job for what I'm doing. First thing I did was disconnect the negative terminal on the battery because we're going to be working with electrical stuff. And next up is just moving this overflow bottle out of the way, which is essentially just this plug here, which you put, push the two tabs in and it unclips. Once you've done that, you got the 10 mil bolt here and the 10 mil bolt down there. Forgot to mention there is another 10 mil bolt right down the bottom. As you can see, I've ripped the airbox out just to give myself a bit more room and that will give me a bit more access to move this reservoir bottle over here and get it out of the way. Um, the little 10 mil I was talking about is this one here, which is located right underneath. So this is a little bit hard to get to. Hopefully move this overflow bottle out of the way and just sit it here. So now essentially what that does is give us access to run the EGT cable down through the firewall and into the car itself. So next up, all I'm gonna be doing is just taking this pick and just punching a hole through that grommet in the firewall. Um, doesn't really matter where you do it, as long as you set it out of the way, I'm gonna kinda of do it right there. Just push through there like that. I've moved on to a bigger screwdriver now just to open up that hole a little bit more. So now I'm gonna take my EGT sensor, climb inside and push it through the firewall and in through that grommet. So next up, as you can see, I've got the uh, bung located already on my dump pipe. So it's just a matter of unscrewing that and screwing in the EGT sensor into its place. So here is the lower part of the EGT sensor. Essentially, I'm just gonna screw that in now and then place the rest of it in once I've got this threaded in. Now I'll drop the rest of it in. Just being careful that you don't lose that little copper brass fitting there because um, it can slide off. But this one's actually on there pretty tight so we should be all good. There's no need to get it super tight. Just tight is uh, all that it needs. Now just a zip tie or two for the uh, actual line itself so it doesn't flop around in the engine bay. So we are pretty much all done in the engine bay here. Got the sensor in there in that dump pipe and running through the firewall there, as you can see. So next we're gonna move into the actual cabin and wire everything up. So what I'm gonna be doing now is just running the cable 
up to here to the top there where I'm going to be mounting my gauge which is going to be up here I'm going to have two of them I'm going to have the boost as well as the EGT I'm actually relocating the boost because it's currently here so I'll be relocating it to up here but yeah essentially just running the cable which is pretty straightforward up through there up the side and just let it come up up the top here Alright, so what I've done is essentially just run my boost gauge up through there and down through there where it used to be sitting, but now I've got it, I'm going to have it mounted right next to the EGT, so both these cables have now been run in so I can start on the uh, electrical wiring. So this is my wiring loom that I just made um, with the uh, EGT gauge and the boost gauge combined. I didn't go into too much detail into explanation of it because I'm combining the two gauges but the basics of it are that the EGT has two plugs which is that one there and that one there and they just plug straight into the sensor and also you have a positive and a negative which I'll show you where to connect on the car um, but yeah I've got my boost gauge well the light for the boost gauge wired in as well so it's just kind of didn't want to over complicate things and I'm going to be wiring this just into my accessories so when I turn on my accessories it turns on the light for the boost gauge and it powers up the EGT gauge at the same time. I'm not going to connect it to my lights or anything like that. It's just going to be constantly on or constantly off. Alright, so I ended up finishing running my loom. I ran it down through there. I peeled all this back, as you can see in the previous video, straight down there. And it's come out at this fuse box here. So now it's just a matter of connecting the sensor up, um, connecting the power up into the uh, fuse box up there in the ground, which the ground is going to connect to. There's a screw, um, where is it? Hopefully I can show you it. Yeah, right there where my finger is. There's a screw right there. That's where I'm gonna be connecting the ground to. And with the fuse, I'm just gonna be pulling out one of these fuses, probably like a horn or something like that, and just connecting it to accessories and plugging that straight in and then just connecting the two wires on the uh, actual EGT sensor and we're pretty much all good to go. And then just a matter of securing the, um, the gauge cup holders up here, probably just uh, double-sided sticky tape them down and that'll be basically it. All right, so now we've got everything connected. As you can see, we've got the black wire connected to that bolt there. We've got the uh, positive sitting up there plugged into the uh, fuse box and we've got the sensor wires here connected as well both of them are all connected to the sensor so we're pretty much ready to mount our gauges Well, that's not good. Looks like my um, gauge is already shining, so I just have to see what's going on there. But. So exhaust temp gauge is working perfectly. The only issue I have is where I've actually wired it up in the fuse box, it looks like it's got constant power that doesn't turn off. So it's just a matter of me either finding another location for it and we'll go from there. So that's it for this episode. See you guys on the next one.